Welcome everyone to this week's episode of My Life and My Virtual Therapy Dog Channel. If you're new here, I'm Frank and this is my life from my point of view with voiceovers by Dad. I'm here for all the folks who want a dog but can't have one right now. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. This week we're off to Coquille for the uh, Coquille Fire and Rescue Car Show and Steak Feed. It's a quite a fun little gathering. Lots and lots and lots of very pretty cars. We got about uh, four and a half, four, four and three quarter minutes of uh, sidecar here before we get to the car show. If some of this looks familiar, well, we've rode through here lots of times. It's just no way to get anywhere without going through here. Look past the cemetery. Been to a few good uh, garage sales at, at uh, Shore Pines there. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Really, really do appreciate everybody uh, liking, commenting, and especially subscribing. That uh, lets me know. We'll Let's me know me and dad are doing doing what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. Through downtown Coos Bay. It's Steve Pro Steve Prefontaine. Almost got the Pyrenees lips going there. Anyway, if you've, uh, if you've ever watched track and field, he's uh, a pretty famous guy as far as track and field goes and grew up right, right here in Coos Bay, so a little Coos Bay claim to fame there. And if you notice all them mobile homes, that's where dad and mom bought their new house. Or manufactured homes, I guess. They're not really mobile. <clears throat> Especially after they're set up like Dad and Mom's was set up. There's a, a whole playlist on that. Frank, Franklin Manor. From, from raw land to, well, where we live now. And we'll stop at the Coos Bay Speedway here just for a second. And uh, change out camera angles. Get uh, a little different view here. And this is uh, heading down Highway 42. We actually veered off a of, off of 101. do a little bit of hyperdrive here just to uh, oh just otherwise this video would be really really long and, and it's a pretty long video already it's it's hard to hard to show all the pretty pretty cars in the car show and, and not have the video just like really stretch out kind of a lot so We're uh, just coming into Coquille here. And you can always tell it's called uh, Winter Lake off on the right. That great big field in the winter time has two, three feet of water across the whole thing. They call it Winter Lake. 
And, you know, you're in Coquille when you see the log, log pond. And, finally at the car show. And, some of these cars you may have seen from, uh, oh, the Lakeside Car Show video that we did. Mom and Dad kind of like to go to car shows. And, I like to go to car shows too. There's, you know, there's lots and lots of tires. And if a dog had his way, he would sniff and pee on a lot of those tires. But it's a car show, so that's out. That's what Dad says. Pretty nice car show though. And an amazing amount of dogs. A little Barbie car. But I think I like this pickup truck much better. Somebody put a lot of work into this. Very, very nice job. Does anybody uh, recognize this car? Maybe when you were playing with Barbies? This, this little pink car here got mom's vote. This is a, a People's Choice Award kind of car show. And mom liked the pink. Just a, another very valid... <laughs> Pyrenees lipstick. Another very, very well done car. Unfortunately, we uh, we can't look at every car. There's just no way. The paint on this was uh, well, it was just plum crazy. That's what it was. I mean, look at that reflection. That's just amazing. And. No year limit at this car show, so there's new cars, old cars, just about every kind of car you could think of, it was here. And we, uh, we just kind of wandered a bit here and there. And it seems like the bright, the bright cars usually get most of the attention. great car as long as it was dry out. I don't, I don't think you'd want to drive that in the rain. Hmm. 
A lot, a lot of nice old pickups as well. And I don't go too many places that I don't get petted. And recognized by a few people here and there too. Actually been going to car shows long enough now and then showing up at them that quite a few folks kind of recognize me. And there's a woody wagon. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Another beautiful one right next to it. And one of the few Volkswagens that uh, we saw. Yeah, it kind of likes Volkswagens. Anybody else see that little dog back there? I sure did. Pretty nice ranchero. And as always, you know, Dad does his best to keep people out of the, uh, of the videos. Just give everybody their privacy. survivor there was a uh, at least at least a couple of those at this car show I hadn't seen before Sweet little pickup. And that's something you don't see too often anymore. I think most of them got wrecked. Really nice. As always, lots of uh, lots of Tri Five Chevys. Along with uh, some other makes of cars as well. Hey, yeah, it's my friend's car. It's a pretty sweet setup right here. All that stuff fits in his little trailer. Definitely one of the prettiest cars at the show. And I just love the way the uh, grill was replicated on the trailer. Definitely ties the two of them together. And the picture book right there behind that shows that car in a whole lot rougher shape than it is now. Uh, it was pretty bad when uh, 
when my friend started on it. Hey, Dad's got that same seat, but it's not, it's just sitting on the shop floor, it's not on a go-kart. station wagon what did, what did dad call that a dual quad dual quad big block and a station wagon but need lots of power to haul that big heavy station wagon around And once again, amazing paint. Well, another early ranchero with a vintage trailer behind it. Well, thank you very much. We will look inside. Did a pretty nice job inside here. That's another beautiful wagon. And another Ranchero. Then we come back to the bike and hang for just a little bit. See all those people? They're all in line for, for the steak feed. Anyway, we went back, hung in the shade for a little bit, had some water. Now time to go back and look at cars. Tiny cars. Pretty sweet, huh? Wait till you see the one next to it. It's a little baby tow truck. Tater's repo. Enough with the silliness. You gotta like the little tiny cars, though. Then yeah, this guy remembered me from uh, from Lakeside when we were up there for the car show up there. That's. Oh, I don't know, a few videos back. I'll see if I can't get Dad to uh, put some kind of link in. After car after car it's just this video is getting a little bit long and it's not over yet there's just too many nice cars to look at 
too many nice cars to, to share. I really wish we could share all of them, but... Folks, uh... Well, folks, folks just don't watch real long videos. I don't know, it's weird. Mom and Dad do. There's a, a few different channels they watch that... But, if you listen to, uh... You listen to YouTube, then, uh, short videos are better. Kind of makes you wonder a little bit there. Fingers sticking out of the basket. Leave a comment. You like short videos or longer videos? Let us know. Yeah. All these cars. They're kind of like showroom condition. Pretty amazing. Nineteen twenty nine puddle jumper and the Marwood A's. There's actually a few different uh, car clubs and whatnot up here that showed up with a a bunch of folks. And lots and lots of folks who just build cars in their garage. That's another one of those survivor cars. And a Bronco. Pretty darn sweet. Well, that's that's a funny looking dog. And most wild car to guard. tone on that does look nice, doesn't it? Huh? Chop top Chevy. A little bit of a low rider. But keep watching. There's a there's a super low rider coming up here pretty quick. Yep, they start out kind of rough, but they sure come out nice. I would say that's special. There's that woody wagon again. Here's that low rider. Bit of a rat rod low rider. And you know that was built in somebody's garage. Yeah, pictures tell the story. Huh. 
Okay, thumbnail shot. And more, more people who recognize me from Lakeside. The roadie cruisers out of Florence, Oregon. There, there's quite a few of them here. And just in case you weren't sure where to put the gas. Really a, a kind of a nice touch right there. A little fuel there. And I do like it when, uh, when, when folks finish out the engine compartment along with the rest of the car. Just That's, it's definitely going the extra mile. But, unfortunately, we're going to, uh, have to end this video before it gets too terribly much horribly longer but really do appreciate everybody uh, watching towards the end of it here do a little little bit of a drive-by here we'll uh Say thank you once again for watching, liking, commenting. Really do appreciate it. Until next week, have fun, stay safe. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, stick upon the thumbs up button. And for the newest, go ahead and paw that subscribe button. Thanks again. Cheers.